The great thing about our industrial workers, which we like to call our industrial athletes, is just like when you're training a professional athlete, you want to optimize, you want to get the best performance so that they don't strain themselves or in our assembly worker, hurt themselves. Virtual manufacturing means making decisions about a manufacturing assembly process and designing the manufacturing plant, but using virtual data to make those decisions. So what we want to do is we want to take a look at all the processes, all the new parts for every new car, and do an analysis with our digital human model to make sure that that assembly process is feasible to the people that need to build it. We have a fully integrated motion capture system that we utilize, and by using full body, we can get an idea of how someone is going to move on the assembly line. By understanding their full movements, we can then do a better risk assessment. So you can put on a head-mounted display and you can stand in front of a partially built-up car and look at it from the perspective that that operator will be seeing it. And we can actually have them reach for that part. I can then calculate all their joint angles by tracking their body segments. And then we can predict for that posture to put on that part how much strength they would need to do before it became incapable for them. One of the ones that's been really exciting is the use of additive manufacturing or 3D printing and using it with the virtual data to really make some really good decisions. We had a situation a few years ago on the new F-150 where one of our manufacturing engineers had a concern about a particular operation, a decking of a transmission to an engine. So what we were able to do was we would create a simulated environment that represented that process and we could tap into our, our local operator population, bring them into the lab, put a head-mounted display on them and expose them to that new process. And these are truly our industrial athletes. These are the people that do that task you know, 300 times a day and we can have them buy off on that ergonomic process, on the assembly feasibility of that task so that when that truck hits that workstation in two years, we know we're gonna build a quality product.